This is Nico London, and you're now locked in with Kelly Kell on 258 Radio. Here's my new single. Can they speak on relations when they ain't even read the pamphlet? Oh, hold up. Love stand is complicated. They ain't fit to stand with. And these the type of folk we love to sit and share our plans with. Why can't we use advice from a person when they heart is damaged? Better off trying one another. This to your advantage. We fell out of love. We fell out of love. We fell out of love. I'm falling out. Maybe to a church or two. Rather be corrected than continue on hurting you. Baby, you the perfect view. Rather have you in my life. God sent you to me. That's the reason you became my wife. Just trying to figure out too many lessons. Wait, it's right. Gotta put my right foot forward. I'm gonna make it right. Yeah, we gon' make it right. We've been lasting here forever. But we got to do in some calmer feel type of weather. We fell out of love. What's up for granted? The next person willing to. Nothing is handed. Can't let feelings get into you. Just cause you talk stuff don't mean it's right. And just cause mama said it. Well, hell, you can't live mama life. We both grown, comb our hair, tie our own shoes. We took these vows and started living by our own rules. And for the sake of this union, I'm willing to work it out. Always a purpose when you both seek and walking out. But learn to love past the fault, it's what this love's about. Learning to love imperfection into our common ground. We need to keep holding on until we beat the storm. Baby, my love is unconditional, my word is born. So I'ma be here to the end of time. Cause baby, love has a spawn, but I tell you, a soulmate is hard to find. We fell out of love, we fell out of love, we fell out of love.
All right, y'all. Welcome to Lip Gloss and Mics. And again, I know that wasn't Nico London, but I had to play his drop because he just, um, okay, well, how can I say this? He just mailed me his book, and he wrote me yesterday. So I was so excited, you know what I mean? Like, he just, he just, like, told me that he mailed it personally so I should get it by Monday. So I was so excited I had to play his drop. And then Fell Out of Love is by an artist, JB. And you really all have to get that EP. It was dropped on Valentine's Day this February. And it has been nothing but one hit right after another. The latest one, which I should have played instead of Fell Out of Love, but that was one of my favorites, is um, Breakfast in Paris. Who would not want to wake up in, in Paris for breakfast? Um, so, you know, let's just figure this out. So, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, but tonight we have a special guest in the house, and I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this. And her name is Felicia Rivers, and she is from Charleston, South Carolina, and she's one amazing woman, okay? Um, she keeps her plate full. I mean... Full, full. Now, a lot of women, they don't like to, you know, that that's the thing I find down south. It's um, it's a lot of competition. Now, I don't know how her market is. Um, I don't, I don't be out there a lot. I stay to my lane and in the radio, and I, I haven't been out. Um, okay, <laughs> so let's do this. But she's gonna be calling in in a couple seconds, so we'll be hearing her call. Um. And I can play another. Oh, oh, this must be her. Is this Miss Felicia? It is. It is. All right, y'all. So this is Felicia. And um, I was just in the middle of introducing you, Felicia. And as I was saying, she's one amazing woman. Not only has she has so much under her belt, I don't know how she does it all, okay? Not only has she ran award shows. Now, I have not even met this girl yet, and I don't know how. It's just always I've had a lot going on the last couple of years. But I've heard a lot about her, and I've seen a lot of her work. I read some of her work. Um, her she, She's gotten into acting, producing. I mean, now she's added on this whole thing where she's in an, um, a beauty thing, like a pageant. For a plus size, I mean, she's just got so much going on. How do you manage this? Um, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I'm really, 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 like, happy for you, though. You know what I mean? Like, you keep your elevation, and it's not in, like, one area. You know what I mean? You branch yourself out into different areas. That's, like, a really good thing. Of course, of course. You got to. Now. I want to back it up a little bit, though, for people. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself because, like I was trying to explain, she's she started in, like, music, and the magazine came first, right? Yes, but it, the, the magazine wasn't about music. It was, it was about everything but music. And a lot of people came to me and was like, oh, you know, we need to add this and add that and add this and it was more about models. When I first started out, we was doing, like, fashion shows and stuff with models. And, you know, when you're doing stuff, artists start coming to you because they're trying to look for, plat you know, different platforms as well. So um, it, it did venture out a little bit more to music. And that's what I was trying to explain to some people who think, you know, Kichi wanted just about rappers or something. And I'm like, no, it's, you know, if you're a writer, you're a poet, it's a voice. You know, voice of different different platforms, not just hip hop and rappers. <laughs> it, and it definitely is a platform. Um, I had seen it, been advertised for a long time. I had finally ordered a copy, and I had ordered another copy to send to a friend, and he had um asked me to order another one. So it was like, and I finally got a chance to sit down and read it, you know, because it is so hard when so many people do so many different things, and and for you to get out and. It's just extremely off, you know. So I finally got to sit down, and, and it's one amazing magazine. And, and like she said, it's not just on music. There's a little bit of something for everyone in it. Right. And and you'll like it. Yeah. So y'all need to check it out. Yeah, if you're out there and you want to write or if you're into something, just submit. Submit the pictures. Submit if you want, you know, 
I just read it. That's what I, that's what I try to get at. But if you're a poet, if um, you know you got something on your mind, you can write it into the magazine, and maybe we might publish it if it's good. You know. Yeah, and and if it's something, and don't be afraid that you know. Oh, it might be a subject that you know people might not be interested. Because trust me. You know, I used to be that type of person. I'd be like, oh, God, you know, they're going to think this type of way of me if I write about this, you know, or if I say something. Be you. That's the best thing you can do is be you. So many af- people are, like, afraid to be themselves, and everybody has a special gift. So just be yourself. Next. She also surprised me. Now, Tell she also does award shows. Um, you want to go into a little bit about the award show when you started it, and and how all that happened. Last time um, we had the Geeks One Awards, we've been going for thirteen years now. Here in the beautiful city of Charleston, and again, um, it's another platform for people to come together and showcase their creative side. Not just music, because I know everybody's like rapper, rapper, rapper. I don't know why, but which I know. Um, in Charleston, we weren't lacking that, which I see that we do have a lot of platforms now, which is awesome for rappers. But, um, like, we do poets, we do barber, we do hair salon, we do nail tech, we do, um, we call it, we do writer, we do actor, we do all kind of, it's a lot of different categories. Painter, we like somebody who paints canvas and stuff, we do paint every year. So it's not just about that. And that's all the issues I have with the award shows is people keep getting, uh, what do you call it, getting into that box where it's just like, you're just a rap award. And it's like, hey, no. It's like, I, actually, when I first started Geek You One, I was being attacked by rappers. And we're in, you know how rappers, some of these local artists are, where they just be like, well, you don't know about me. You don't, you know, so I ain't out of here. Hold up. If somebody doesn't know about you, that's not how you approach them. How you doing? My name is so and so. I'm an artist. Can I submit my media kit to you? That's how you, that's how you should address people. Right. There's a billion people trying to do the same thing you're doing. So a lot of these people don't have no all. Uh, right. What makes you different? And then while we're saying that, I, I, I mean, I mean, I would jump the top because I have a lot of a mind. Because I was talking this earlier today. Um, I also am, well, if you need a casting director or someone that's put it, together a cast and talk to actors for you guys anybody does you know acting I you can look for that as well I did um one for Skiller well actually they shot the movie today but I booked a movie story to talent for his movie and he was really excited about the exciting talent that I was going to him uh, basically and again with that is some of the people from here I, I live in Charleston so some of the people that came to the cast and saw look like they didn't look correct. I don't I want to say bomb, but, you know, they didn't come correct. And I'm like, this guy's going to pay you to be in his movie. So why would you come looking ragged? Like, it's a job. Right. You know, y'all, y'all are artists or y'all are actors or whatever you do. If you're coming for an interview, that's the same as an interview, why would you look bad? Why would you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and you might, this might be your day off from work. I get it. It's like be laundry day. Like, I get it, but... You want people to respect your craft, but you just show up looking like with a ripped up shirt. Hey, you need to book me. Why? Right, right. I, I can relate to that. Is like, is it a hobby it. or is this something you want to take further? Yeah, I want to do that in there because that was something I just addressed earlier. And when you said that, I jumped on that. But it was just like people wonder why we don't really go anywhere. If, if you know, y'all show up to someone that's the first impression is the last impression. Exactly. Show up to looking like a bum. And all I'm thinking about is, okay, Kelly showed up in here with, you know, hair was not comb, put her hand on her nose, something so she wanted to be the star of the week. <laughs> right. Yeah, I could, I could see that, especially if you're trying to do something like that. I mean, you're going to be looked at by tons of people. That's what you want. I mean, I'm not saying that sex is the biggest stuff, you know, but, you know, people... And we're gonna be looking at this, and you—you you are, you are the, you want the visual for my vision. So why would I want to book somebody to be afraid? Right. right. That's that's crazy. Unless it's like unless like, unless we are looking for bums, and we don't want to, you know, a documentary about bums and you know, homeless so or yeah, being ready for the part. Let's let's do it. But I'll, 
always nice the cover is always put together well and and trust me there's a little bit of something in there for everyone and that's another thing i want to back up a little bit as far as the award show i have not attended one i've, I've got to get hopefully god willing this year my health is going to be okay i have been sick for the last five years um so a lot of people don't see me out there in the industry as much as they used to when i first started um so i'm, I'm trying to make appearances again this year and I have heard a lot about the award shows. The thing that I did like about this one is, as she said, it's not just music. I believe, and I, I'm pretty sure it's yours, that you even had one for, like, little restaurants. Right? Yeah, a res restaurant. Um, a bakery or, like, a cake place or yes, something. Yes. Yeah. A little line called a store, fashion designer. Um, it's a lot of different things because it's not just about it's music. It's about music. It's just about culture yeah and, and different stuff and then like you don't have to be from charleston that really gets yep. to but if you're from charleston but like my magazine i have over over 1500 people that subscribe to get you one yeah and half of them is not from charleston so and what's crazy about it is where she does that for the award show she's gonna think this is wild even though i didn't go to the award show i used her nomination list because um july 4th i don't celebrate july 4th um, I was very distraught last year and the year before because I just felt our country wasn't where it should be, and I didn't, I, I don't celebrate it. So I, I needed to just get away. I have lived down here for 16 years and have only been to Charleston once, and it was to the hospital. So I said, you know what? I'm taking off for the day. I'm going MIA, and I went to Charleston, and I took her list of restaurants. <laughs> Because I had no idea where to go eat out there. So that so, was a tool. Huh? Where did you end up at? It was this little place. And I, and that's what I'm trying. This was three years ago. Two years ago, actually. And I took my mom with me. I know it has seafood. That's what we ended up eating. And I'm trying to remember because actually, out of the list, I even called, um, what's his name? Oh, my God, it was one of the artists. And I asked him, huh? Probably Mugger Man or something. <laughs> Not Mugger Man, Jason. It was Jason. Um, He's on your thing, too, sometimes. I'm trying to think of his artist name, though. It was like probably like two years ago, three years ago. You had, it was like a couple little restaurants, and he said which one had seafood at it. And he had to even direct me how to get there because I had no idea where I was. But that, that I knew where you had nominated them. You know what I'm saying? That they had to be good. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, at least, at least I knew. Liked it. Yeah, I had an idea of where to go because I was lost and I didn't want to be like, like right in the center where everybody was downtown. You know what I mean? I felt like, yeah. God, I don't want to be here. Like, this is crazy. It was, like, where the Cobblestone Street was, I guess. It was, like, right where, um, I guess, like, all these little stores or something. Okay. See, I'm lost out there. I didn't want to be there because it was driving me crazy. God, I'm trying to think of the name. I'm going to have to look at one of your old nomination things yeah, we now. Got, we got Hannibal's. We got Versus. We got Nigel's. Um, they got manners. There's a whole bunch. Uh, there's it wasn't far from like water. I know that it was. I remember I could see like the water. Yeah. Yeah. See, now it's driving me crazy. Now that you know this is gonna be on my head all night, right? Yeah. Because I got like a memory block now. <laughs> and when like when you can't think of a song, and I'm like, I remember it wasn't far from water. 
been no Hannibal's in downtown. But I don't think you could shoot it. I mean, it's close to water, but... You, I mean, you, I think yeah, it wasn't like I was sitting right near water, but I mean, it was close to water. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I could look out the window and see water, no. Yeah, it might have been Hannibal's. And there's another place that I actually closed down, Hugh's. Now, they had a, um, a soul food buffet, but they're closed. I don't know. All I remember is using the nomination because I I didn't know where to go. And then I had called and I was like, look, I need help. (laughs) Like, which one? You know, and they're like, well, all of them are pretty good. But this one, I want seafood. I know I wanted seafood. And that's how it it got narrowed down. I can't remember. This is crazy. Well, it was a couple of years ago, but I want to go back out there again because I didn't have enough time that day. And it was the holiday. So, of course, everybody was everywhere. Yeah. But I need to go back out there. Okay, but on to the, the next part, because this is, of course, the biggest part that I, I I love. All right, so then as we go on, of course, I've heard Felicia's name here and there, and she's won awards for this and that. Then all of a sudden, she kind of, like, pushed through. And, you know, I had seen her bebopping around on Facebook and stuff, and she approached me about, what about your friend's drama series? Now, that was kind of, like, the first when you got into, the like, the whole you know, acting and stuff, right? And producing? Yes. Let me tell y'all, okay? Now, it's not like when you get artists asking you, Kels, can you listen to my song? You know, or you get a client that sends you their music. And I'm sorry, I have to listen to the music before I start working with it because I just can't, like, take the money and, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to do this music. Well, she's, of course I'm going to watch this. I got into it, okay? Now... I don't even know what happened to it because then after I watched like the first couple of episodes, yeah, I didn't have time to finish. So I don't even know what happened to What About Your Friends. So, of course, one of these days I have to sit down and friend, you know, and sit and look at it. But that's when I realized like this girl's on to something, okay? Because people started leaving me feedback when I would refer it to them. And people were actually watching this. Yes. Like, like a soap opera. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, these people are leaving me comments saying kills. And, and I'm inviting them to her page for this. And, and they're going. like they and, and they weren't just going because I invited them. Like, they were going and really watching it. And I'm like, dang, this is crazy. Like, she's really on to something. So now that I got you on a live interview, what, what happened with that series? Like, you got to catch me up here. Well, basically, we still have the finale. Um, I sort of, I got sick for a little second. I lost like 65 pounds. Oh, my goodness. I'm better, I'm better now, I think. I think. <laughs> well, my iron got really low, and then, um, well, I'm glad you're better. Wow. Things that stress people out, and people don't seem to understand. So, because like, I like doing, I like writing and producing and putting stuff together. I, I really enjoy that. But my issue with it a little bit is just the chase game. Some people can get really big. I'm like, we haven't even made it yet. Like, I'm like, once we do some uh, finish the finale, we can put this on Amazon Prime. There's so much we can do. We still have to shoot the finale, which we have to shot. Which, I mean, we're talking about it now. We talked about it last night as well, some of the actors. I don't have a problem with but my issue is, I guess it's just some, some people don't give a... Some people give a negative vibe. Right. I don't really want to work with some of the people, you know, like, um, <clears throat> like certain somebody I would want, you know, like, you ever be around somebody and just feels like you'd, you'd be happy and all, like, you feel sad to, or mad or, like, you have a gray cloud over you or something, like, just because they're around you or they're scared or something, they just, I just feel like, you know, I mean, like, this is my dream, this is my thing, but. I just, instead of, like, saying, okay, I cut this person, cut that person, I just sort of, you know, it was like, you know, let me, let me just go off for a second so we get my stuff together, and then, you know, if they still down, then we'll come up for the finale, they'll be there, if not, they're fine. But, I don't, some people, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about, you ever just had a dream, and then somebody else will just, somebody else has a negative attitude, or negative feeling that just makes you, like, you know what, let me not just touch it right now. Right. Just kind of back off from it for a little while. Yeah, just get a little bit. And then I like the movies. The issue with the movies is it's better to do because you might have to take a shoot a last couple of times. But it's not. But 
it's like we're finishing, we're starting and we're finishing that day. When you do a web series, I mean, I guess you can change the characters, but Kelly can't play Kelly. You're on series, on, on show one, and then I got definitely playing Kelly show two, and somebody else playing Kelly show three, because this doesn't work. Right, right. Do that, but, but, you know, people start getting familiar with the character. They start, you know, you bring the character a lot. The actor brings the character a lot. So you just choose for the character like that changes what's going on as well. Because at the end of the day, it's like this when, like these movies and short films, and people, you know, like you know, when you watch TV, somebody like you watch a show, you have to touch on to that person. Somebody's going through drama, or somebody's going through somebody. You be like, oh, I like that actor. I like right. Or, or I like that character. Like the baby mama in uh, what about this place? A lot of people like that. They was like, yo, she can't be acting. Like she, there's no way in the world this girl can be acting. Yeah, she's like, she, you know what I'm saying? There's no way in the world. Like she did that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me to change her or change somebody else's character, I have to change her, whoever, to another person. And it's like, you know, now you got to fill this new actor out that's doing it. And they might not be as good as her or they might be better. You never know. I'm just saying. So I just set it out for a second. I'm doing the short film. Um, the first one we did was Game Coming, which you can find on Amazon Prime. Right now you go and watch it. Um, uh, and it's like 36 minutes long. I was thinking it would be a little bit longer, but it's our first one, so cool. Second one that's out is called The Kickback, which is on YouTube. You can watch that. Third one is called um, what? Twerk, which is, is, which is not on YouTube. I'm still deciding what to do with Twerk. I did enter it into a couple film festivals, so I am waiting to hear back. You know, even if it doesn't make it, you know. So uh, one of the ideas that I'm thinking about doing is, you know, on the these collections is maybe we could have a, a movie premiere night where we come together because, like, it's a short film. So, like, first it's, like, nine minutes and 30 seconds. So, you know, you don't want to come all, call, come all the way out just to watch a nine-minute film. You know what I'm saying? So, right. So, you know, those collections, you know, have a sketch one day at night. Maybe we some popcorn, some some candy, come out, have some food, come out and watch the, the film. You know, give feedback and film, watch the film, say five dollars and watch films all day or something. I mean, um, that is the idea. Now, you also have, like, something coming up in June in Philly. Aren't you going up for the awards, too? Yes, yeah, so I'm nominated for seven awards at the Psych TV Awards. Um, one is for What About Your Friends, three is for Angel Revenge. I'm up for director, writer, and I think an actor. Um, that's what's up. I don't know what I can want to, so it's not the win that I'm saying. Yeah, but I mean, you've accomplished so much, you know what I mean? And and that's that's something you really got to look at yourself and tap yourself on the back. Correct. So, and then um, that's the same weekend as the Black Film Festival, or Black, American Black Film Festival in Miami. I'm like, I just don't really want to go to that. Even though I'm not, you know, they're not showing my movie, but it's supposed to take all around other people. Right. <laughs> now, this, this, what about your friends? Do you think it'll be like a finale eventually? Yes, we were talking about it. So, is this, I guess, if I'm going to be on I'm going to be. I hope so. Maybe, like, maybe by the holidays or something, you know? But as for me doing what I'm doing now, I'm getting a lot of people. That's what a lot of these short films are like. Really like Cast Call, because I was doing Cast Call or somebody else. I, just, I think it's a waste of time and money. And because it's a different set of people. Right, that's true. You know, if, you know when you do the, the rehearsal and stuff, it's like you have 10 people that's cool. But it's time to shoot, so you don't call out. So it's like. Yeah, that's not cool. I mean, that's what happened yesterday. Um, well, you know, a couple of main people that come yesterday and I had to flip them and switch it up. Um, we still made it happen, you know, it's still happening. And the one I did yesterday, it's like, a, I'm trying to do different stuff, so it wouldn't be all the same, or oh, baby daddy and baby mama drama and all kind of crap, so it's a different one. So the one I did yesterday, it's called Walk It Off. And yeah, you could tell you're doing different. Like, I see that, because, like, uh, the Angel's Revenge, I didn't mean to cut you off, but Angel's Revenge, you could tell, then you look at the next one, you know, I used to love her. I was like, ooh, that looks interesting. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, the ugly friend, I'm like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell it's, like, all different, but stuff that draws people into, like, I want to see that. Like, what's that about, you know? 
They got catchy yeah. titles too. Yeah, she does it for everybody. Yeah. And she just said what that was about walk it off, what she did yesterday. It's what it's we gotta applaud battling out who you got the best way. It's just it's a short but it's I think it's worth watching, you know, for entertainment purposes, you know. And then it's like, um, I did get to showcase some of the fashion designers in Charleston, some of their stuff was in it, which is cool. Um, but um uh, you know, I can say this, we have a couple of uh, the LGB yeah. community, which is awesome because, like, a lot of the dress houses, they ask for stuff like that. And I'm like, hey, you know, if you're, if you're a lesbian, you really can't, you know, a lesbian, lesbian, but, you know, you really can't tell, but, like, the young man, Dean, you know, you know. Right. You know, um, Dean Kane, you know, he's like, the young lady that's like Casper, she, she's going through it just a girl. And she's like, oh, it's cool because it's different and it's like, that will open up other opportunities. For other, yeah. And for another movie, which I need a title, which I'm, I guess I'm calling it True Blood or True Love or something, I don't know. True Mixed Love, but that's just an uh, untitled work. And it's about an interracial couple. Um, the guy is white, the young lady is black, and I want to actually show, I don't want to all the details because there's a whole fresh story, but it shows how, you know, the white people are like really happy and they're supportive. And then when she brings him home, that's gonna be good i think that i honestly i think that'll do really really well because um as we know that there's a lot of that you know what i'm saying and a lot of well i mean me being down here um i mean it's up north too but i i notice it more down here as far as interracial couples it's it's harder here and it's it's more i don't know I, I know I'll definitely be watching that one. Yeah, and I want to make that a full length one. So what I'm going to do is put up a proposal and we're going to try to get you sponsored. And then basically, it doesn't have to be all money sponsored. Like, you know, if, if you're a restaurant or something wants to feed the gas, that's money saved right there. You know what I'm saying? That's money saved. Or somebody want to give gas cards and instead of paying the cash, you know, if you put down for fifty dollars gas card, you know. So just, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it out there. I mean, I can interview everybody like we did with that big movie that um Travis Pearson did. Oh, awesome. That'd be good too. We did, yeah. We had set up. We had like the music. Well, he had music in his too, but we had like every week we had a different whoever acted in it. You know what I'm saying? We had a different part and focused on them to make them feel. You know what I mean? And bring them out and. They kind of explained the role that they did in it and all that, so it was kind of cool. It kind of showed it was it was different for our audience too because it wasn't just music. Because I've been doing authors too and things like that, so it's been kind of cool. Like this talent everywhere, you know what I'm saying? That's something even with me. It's like the writing is awesome. I think it's awesome because I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to. Everybody wants to see the same drama. Your baby daddy left you. But actually, I want to do something like that. Right, right, right. It's like, it's like law and order, but instead it's like these three women that are like lawyers that are advocates for the kids. So instead of just focusing on, when I was going to do one, a movie about trifling, about, you know, baby mom, baby daddy, and I was like, you know what, it sounds a lot better to, you know, each show have a different case that is brought to them, and see, like, you have fathers that love their kids, and the baby mama don't want to do nothing. You have mamas that, mamas and daddies who don't want the kids, and Absolutely. Yeah, it's stuff that's different. I mean, I think anything positive and anything that that is in like a negative situation or something that people feel negative about that you can bring out a positive in it in a movie. Because I'm not, it's hard because I don't watch a lot of TV, but what I try to watch, I try to watch positive stuff. And of course, I, I mean, I like all kinds of stuff. I'm not really into horror. That's the one thing I'm not into. I think, I don't know what it is. I just, I don't get into horror. But anything else I'm good with. But um, other thing I want to touch real quick on is this. This I seen this whole thing that you entered this plus size, totally like award thing, and what what's all that about? Oh, well, basically they're doing the 2000 uh, the Miss Johnson plus size pageant. Now it didn't already happen, right? You're still going up oh, for it's it. Ju- it's July 21st, so basically 
Honestly, I did enter. This is my first time doing something like this. So if you don't know, I'm really a behind the scenes person. So a lot of people have, I want to say in the last year or two, are actually seeing me for the first time. Because I really don't, you know, I really don't, um, I'm really behind the scenes. So you see everybody besides me, you know? That's like me too, though. I don't, I don't like being. I'd, I'd like to just be behind the scenes and do everything. That's like, crazy. Yeah, so this is something different. Um, cause I'm addicted lately. Night and I'm kicking me out of it. I'm being real with you, but um, cause I know I missed the meeting today because I was. We didn't finish shooting until like two, three o'clock yesterday. I got home super late, and I did miss the meeting today. I know I did, but. Cause I seen the picture just like earlier on your page. And then I started reading it, and I was like, "Oh shoot!" And um, I seen it, which I might be hitting you up um about the, I guess it was an ad or something. It's, it's something to do with a half a page, or yeah, I'm gonna look into that after because my website's being released, so I'll probably do something like that. Um, yeah, we'll get going with that. But I'm just like, wow, like like that's really cool that you're doing something like that. And I was just like looking at the picture, and I was like, that is beautiful. Like, everybody's just, like, so happy and vibing and, like, full of, like, life. Like, they just look happy. Like, the picture just looks, like, chilling, you know? So that, you've, you've got a lot going on this year, and, and you seem, like, happy and elevated, and, you know, then I, and then I was scoping out some other stuff, and, and I seen you introduce, and I don't know if it was one of the pictures, Isaac. Your partner. I never knew this. I was I started cracking up laughing. So congratulations, because you're building your empire. So why are you cracking up laughing, Isaac? Because I never knew that you guys built this together, like the the whole Geechee thing, the whole magazine. Oh. I had no idea. Like I remember, like when when you and I had become friends on Facebook. And then, like, after the whole magazine thing, I remember that you were explaining him, like, the whole thing with the magazine. But I never realized that it was all connected. You know what I mean? And I just looked at one of the pictures, and I was just like, oh, my goodness. It, it didn't even, like, connect to me until just now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was, like, tripping. I'm like, oh, my God. It, it didn't even hit me, like, the partner and the whole, I don't know. It was just crazy. I'm like, because... I'll be, like, so over, like, I hardly ever have time to go down. Like, everybody's like, oh, did you see this, that? And I'm like, no. Like, I don't have time to go down feeds hardly ever. You know what I mean? So I, I don't see half the things that are going on on Facebook unless somebody tags me in it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just I don't have time. I'm hardly ever on, like, I'm, I'll be on my page or usually I'm on one of the sites or somebody's page or doing something, so I, I, I don't I don't get to see half the things unless somebody tags me, and I, I put that person with that person, like, I, I never know who works together, what's what, or who's part of what, I never pay attention. So what else do you have coming up that's, like, for the rest of the year, I would say? Do you have, how many, what's your goal for how many movies to finish? I mean, like, well, yesterday we just finished two, and then, um, we got I used to love her, which is not finished. So we're hoping I don't know where we're gonna finish that because some of the actors that make me so busy. So it's, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're almost finished. With I used to love her, but um, so we still have that. Um, I got one called Love. We got all the secrets and loves. I got one called Justin. We're, we got oh, okay. we're doing two in July. But I don't know what I'm doing. One of them, but I do know Justin with the um, domestic violence. We're doing that the, the last. Cool. Yeah. But, um, the Geeky One Awards is scheduled for November. And the nominations are supposed to start Jet, June 1st. June 1st. Cool, cool, cool. On tell everybody where they can find you on social media, too, y'all. And make sure you tell them where they can go check out the magazine. Awesome. You can go um, to the Geeky One Awards. Uh, what else? Geeky One Magazine. Geeky One Awards. Um, a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't really do on Twitter like that, but Twitter is actually she won. I got an Instagram. Um, Girl, you better get stop getting on Twitter more. Yeah, I don't really be on them. Like, I, I have it, but I don't 
A lot of people don't, and they don't realize business. There's a lot of business on Twitter. And I have a suggestion. All these little short movies and everything where they all have like that spin to it and you write them anyway, right? Yeah, I write these myself. I think you should put them all in a book. Like every year, you should put all the ones that you made and write them into like, you know how they have those books with short stories in them? Yeah, and then, like, you know, whenever you do the part two. But, like, you could put them all in a book, and then that way people can read them, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be kind of cool. You know, sometimes the movie, it's all the actual show is different from the book. Right, so that's what I'm saying. You could add to it in the book. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I love reading. I'm always a book person, you know what I mean? So I'm like... That would be, like, awesome, because then you could get, like, a little bit longer in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Just an idea, because, you know, you're so good at all this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I, I'll be buying books, because I'll be loving books. So, all right. Well, do you have any shout-outs for anybody? I know I kept you a long time. But I don't mean to. It's just I heart, like, they have to be almost an hour long for me to keep them on their show, so. That's why, I mean, I, I really don't, I mean, I shout out to everybody. Everybody listen to everybody. Everybody, everywhere. I'm just trying to, trying to make it. Yep, and she's doing a good job at it. And, and, and what the thing is, is, you know, everybody, you got to give her love. And, and everybody give some support, you know. Everybody out there has got to give support. Don't be hating on people because I've been really big on that lately. A lot of people you see out there, it's, it's show the love. You know, be positive about stuff because, like, you know, the more you give love, you'll see it comes back to you. When you be hating on people, you ain't going to go nowhere. Trust me. It's going to, you're going to just stay at that level. You ain't going to elevate. You're going to stay at the same level. So, um, but I thank you for stopping by, and I'm glad because I think this was an awesome interview, and um, much success to you. I can't wait. I, I can't, well, I guess I'm just going to have to catch up on what about your friends and then kind of make my own ending. I mean, yeah, we're at your stage, so I don't know. And we also had a mini movie, too. Um, we didn't put that on YouTube, so I was debating what to do with that. And this but it is a mini movie about um, um, Rochelle's cousin gets shot. Oh. Graduation night. So we do have that. But I, I didn't really put that on YouTube, so it was more like a mini movie. Right. Not that long either. It's like a sh- that, that was actually, actually then I'm gonna have to check out the these other little ones. I guess it's more of like um. So you said you're on Amazon Prime. These short ones, right? All right, I'm gonna check it out because I have that. Okay. Well, I mean, I can put show one on there, and then, you know, then put show two later, and I right. think what to do with twerk, because like I said, at the end of the day, it's, you know, people already seen it, nobody, I want to come see it at the movie theater, or whatever, so I'm debating on what to do with, with it at this moment, but it's done. Cool. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out Amazon Prime then for that one, because I, I have that, so I can go check it out. Yeah, just put the end of the event, you the only one that I don't watch a black people on the cover. Like, there's a couple. Yeah, I've seen the cover. Yeah, <laughs> so we're the only one that has a black cover. And after you watch the review, so we got, like, you know, a couple of reviews. I know one person was like, oh, my God, it's, uh, you know, Hood Virgin. And, you know, cool. like, okay, that's cool. As long as you watch it. Right, right, right. You guys have to like what you do. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. 
All right. Well, thank you again, and um, I will catch up. Everybody, don't forget, go check out Geechee One Magazine. Um, Get a copy of it. And I believe that you have a subscription still, true, right? Yep, so you can also subscribe to that. Check out Keep Up With The Little Movies. Go on YouTube still and check out. I I mean, it'll always be my favorite, I guess, because it was the first one. And what about your friends? It's kind of, I can't even tell you what it's like, because some of y'all are younger than me, and some of you all, you know. But it kind of reminds me of, like, trying to think. What was that one that we watched a couple weeks ago, honey? What was, remember the one with the girls that lived together and, um... No, 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 no. With um, remember you were thinking, huh? Living single. Yeah, living single. <laughs> Even though you know you got the two guys on there, but you got it's the personalities. I don't want to say it's representing like the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the personalities. Like you got, you know, it's just how you got different personalities all, and they're all friends. You see what I'm saying? I know you, but it's not, I'm not saying it's, it's like the show, because it's not, but I'm saying the how it's all the, the friends, and they're together, you know what I mean, but they all got that different personality, it's just, it's kind of that kind of vibe, you know, but, all right then, and you have a great week, and a productive week, and um, I will... Once the radio is off, so everybody that missed it tonight, you will be able to catch up with it. And at the end of her radio tour, you will be able to have it forever on iHot Radio. All right. Bye. Thank you. Um, Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So, again, that was Miss Felicia Rivers. You can check her out on Facebook. Um, like I said, the magazine's an awesome magazine. It covers a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, you can also go check out, like I said, on YouTube, Punching Geechee 1, and um, it'll come up. There's a bunch of the little short movies. Um, follow her on Twitter. Like she said, she's really not on Twitter. You can go on Instagram. Um, check out the page. If you go to her page, you'll see, like, the little short things where she has, like, the everybody joining and, and preparing for the movies. I, I don't know why. Casting thing, that's what it is. See, I have nothing, I know nothing about movies. But um, she's really intelligent. She's, um, she don't give up. She does not give up. She's, um, she's a go-getter. She's a, she's a go-getter, a very independent go-getter. So um, make sure you check out some of her stuff. She's very impressive. Like I said, every little short thing has... It, it catches your attention, you know what I mean? And like I said, what about your friends? It caught my attention, and then I just got caught up. And, and that's me anyway. I'm always getting into, like, ten different things at once, so it's like I get dragged this way, dragged that way. But um, it, I loved the feedback I was getting from people. When you work for somebody and you have them as a client, that's the best feeling, you know, even with music. um, Like the song I played at the beginning of the show by JB, I mean, when you have people that actually, hey, Kells, you know, that song was really good. Well, I mean, it, it was people that I knew that, you know, they were watching it and like, yo, that, that little YouTube thing, that was cool, you know. I mean, that shit, like, you like that, you know what I mean? That, that's that positive feedback, and you're like, yes, you know. It's, it's not just for the person that makes the, you know, produces it and all that. It's also good, like, when you're promoting something and, and you hear it because you know that you took on something that was good. So, y'all have a great week. My Haitians out there, keep it going. I I mean, these have just been going all night. And um, I hear you're going to keep going for the rest of the month. So, just be safe. Don't be driving while you're drinking. Call up uh, Uber. And um, peace out, y'all.